Hey guys, it's Camps, and this is my really long requested tutorial uh, how you can digitalize a custom drawn logo uh, in Photoshop, Illustrator, and Cinema 3D. So um, I will upload two parts. This is the first part, and on the first part, I will show you how you can um, cut it out from the picture you made. <coughs> um, in Photoshop and in the second part I will show you how you can uh, make it better in Illustrator um, and then how, how to make it in how to make 3D in Cinema 4D so we will start today with um, Photoshop um, I think I will upload the part 2 um, if I get time tomorrow um, Lately, latest, yeah, the latest date I will upload it is, I think, at the weekend. But um, the most thing is to make this, and the rest is is the same or just Cinema 4D. And if you know Cinema 4D, and if you know how to put pictures from Photoshop into Cinema 4D, you don't need a second tutorial the second part of the tutorial um, you just open up your picture you got I made a simple tut for tutorial um, and normally when I make custom logos I don't uh, draw it onto lined paper I um, draw on normal paper without lines and here, that's <coughs> the basic thing. You you draw this thing, and then you get it out here. So for this, make a new layer, and then use the pen tool. So here, it's all right. Make sure the second thing is enabled. No, the last thing is enabled. I think it's the last. I think the last. I will. I will say you <laughs> after that. So we will see. So now, just make your first point, and go to the second point, and make the line like you did it <coughs> on a sheet. So now you have here a long line. This will, if you go on on the next point you have this curve so you have to press alt and press on this point so when you go on now you have your start at this point to the next point so there's no way it goes here it's it's going on here so just press alt again and this again and I make this with all all lines here um, here just like that I'll make it fast I will not make it perfect because it's only for a tutorial it's not a logo or something else I'm making for someone so make sure you have made a new layer <coughs> and then on this new layer <coughs> oh sorry on this new layer, um, press fill path, color black, um, and delete path. So you have your T. It's not very nice, I know, but it's only for showing you how to make it. So don't say that the tutorial is bad because this is bad. So um, I will name it T because then I, after I'm finished, I can see what letter is which layer or something else and it's easier so make a new layer we'll name this U so then go make the same here make sure you are perfect on the line if you make a custom logo for someone or for yourself so it's it's 
this part of of digitalizing a logo is easy but it must be perfect too. You must be careful with the pen tool that you you are perfect on the lines you you draw before on your sheet and it's better for you when you um when you draw it on a uh, sheet without lines because these lines um yeah are not good you can't see it perfect so and here it's better when you make it on a non-lined sheet so fill again and delete the path again so make sure you create a new layer again I will name this T again so it's T U T and here make the same you made on the other two layers um, here so um, like whoa that was wrong so um, here press alt and here so you are finished fill path again delete path and now you have your three letters so they look like that now um, now there are ads so I just added three ads <coughs> um, it's hex is doing this ads on every logo I think strats has something on some of some ads on his logo MDC has ads and every logo um, Hex is drawing um, it's, it has ads so make sure you make a new layer for the ads so I wanna make a new folder group and I wanna put this layer under the group so I wanna name this group ads because then you know here you have the ads these are the letters and here are the ads so if you want you can group the letters too and letters so then just drag and drop all of, all of them in here and here now you have the letters here and the ads here so for the first ad make the same you made with all letters fill path delete path new layer it's important that you delete the path because when you not delete the path and make a new path here and fill path then you fill both so it wouldn't be great if you fill both then you have on one then you have on one uh, layer two ads and if you want to customize it in Cinema 4D it's it's difficult because you when you <coughs> rotate when you want to rotate one you rotate two both and then it's it's there yeah, it's better when you have all in different layers so you can make better look in Cinema 4D and it's easier to customize it after you done it here so for every add new layer the same like you did on the letters um, fill path and delete path so now you are oops now you are finished you have the letters with the the with the ads on it and I wanna make um, I wanna just duplicate this layer I wanna make this layer white so now you can go on one letter and open the layer style options add a stroke and dark gray something like that um, 
gradient overlay for example make it all gray in here something like that so you can I will make random stuff so I only want that it looks great so you can add bevel and ambus I won't make this on this layer oops no inner glow looks great all the time green or red it's giving a cool special here you can add all then just copy layer style pass layer style go to the ads and pass layer style too so you have the same here so um, that was the first part of the tutorial uh, for the second one I want to oops clear the layer style of this stuff so um, here I want to um, make the new the next part of this tutorial I hope I can I have time tomorrow if not it will be up uh, on the weekend. Um, here. Uh, is there anything I wanted to say? I think I wanted to say something, but I forgot it. Um, yeah. If there's, if there are more things I want to say, I will say it in the comments. Um, yeah. This is the basic. Um, thing for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial I want to show you how you can make it better in Illustrator um, thanks Trats made a tutorial about Illustrator one or two weeks ago so it will be the same um, and here the last thing um, in Cinema 3D um, and here it's just how you can put the image from here into Cinema 3D um, and in Illustrator you make it better if you zoom in now something like if you zoom in here you see it's pixel pixelated so it's pixeling really hard so um, you see that and in Illustrator we can make that there's no pixelating it, it's one line and no pixels and yeah this is the thing we make in Illustrator and then put the Illustrator paths into Cinema 3D so thanks for watching guys um, please rate, comment and subscribe be sure to follow me on Twitter and Stay active for more helpfully tutorials.